More the breaking news. Yemen's Iranian-aligned Houthis saying today that strikes by the United States and Britain that played out last night would not go without, quote, punishment or retaliation. The group's military spokesperson saying the strikes killed five fighters and wounded six others, adding that the Houthis would continue to block passage of ships in the Red Sea and the Arabian Sea. And after the attack, we saw scenes like this. Protesters gathering in Times Square last night, chanting slogans including U.S. You can go to hell, waving Palestinian flags. And then in Washington, D.C., right outside the White House, this happened. Let's bring in Congressman Jeff Van Drew of New Jersey. Congressman Van Drew is also a member of the House Judiciary Committee and Transportation and Infrastructure Committees. Welcoming, Congressman. It's always a pleasure to have you. Uh, we know that the airstrikes were carried out. We know some progressive Democrats feel like those protesters, very angry that Congress did not get authorization before Biden did this. So again, uh, Biden's coming under fire from some of the progressives again. But what is your take on these strikes? Are they enough? The timing of it? Why do you think they pulled it uh, yesterday? And while well, Lloyd Austin's in a hospital bed and we don't even know, uh, Biden didn't even come out publicly to make a comment last night, sir. There's one word that really encapsulate everything that's going on here. And it's weakness. We have a president that deals with foreign adversaries on his knees. None of this would have happened in the Trump administration. We haven't seen anything like this for many years. And the reason is when you are a strong country, as Ronald Reagan said, no country is ever attacked because it's too strong. You also, when you're a strong United States, maintain peace around the world. Why did this happen? It happened because uh, Joe Biden removed the sanctions from Iran, who's funding all of this. And that gave them billions of dollars of oil money in their coffers to expand terrorism around the world. Why is it happening? Because he unfroze $6 billion uh, for Iran, which gave them more money. Why is it happening? Because the Houthis, which were actually considered a terrorist group, he removed that status from them. Everything that he does is weak. His foreign policy is weak, and now we have his problems. And this tit-for-tat where they are attacking ships around the world that are right. trying to get through the state, it's going to cost us more money in the United States of America and fuel inflation even more because all our goods are going to cost more. What does he do? He actually bombs a few, you know, areas where they have some storage and other things. Yeah. He needs to tell them to stop. It is obviously... Uh a huge concern, like you said, for the uh, Red Sea and the shipping, uh, the global economy here. It definitely is going to have an impact. Another headache for President Biden today is his son Hunter, though. Um, as you know, you are on House Judiciary. You voted to hold him in contempt. And we learned this week that uh, today, actually, that the House will vote a full House floor vote. Does that get changed at all now that the story just broke about an hour ago that Hunter Biden's attorney said he will sit for a deposition? Or does that vote still go forward, Congressman Van Drew? Well, I was with Congressman Jim Jordan just as he had received this information that Hunter was now going to actually uh, comply with a subpoena, which is what people always have to do. See, here's Hunter's problem. He's so used to the privilege. He's used to breaking gun laws and nothing happening to him. He's used to not paying his taxes and spending it on escorts and on luxury hotels and on pornography and on alcohol and on drugs, and nothing happens to him. But you can't visit the sins of the son on the father, except in this case it's different, because Hunter was involving his father, and his father was involving himself, with his corrupt businesses and all of his shell corporations. That's the part we want to know. We know that Hunter's a bad guy and he's doing bad things. But how is his father involved? We have volumes of information, mounting evidence that his father was involved with Hunter, and it affects our foreign policy, and it has affected our domestic policy, and that's what's wrong, and that's why probably President Joe Biden should be impeached. Now, I'm not going to say probably he should be, but we're just making sure that we cross T's and dot I's. Now, as far as having this in the House for a House vote and contempt, it's going to depend how real they are and how honest they're being about becoming before our committees for depositions.